Let us now complete Linux one challenge. Click on Linux one. Here is the PDF. Step one is to get your virtual machine. We have to go to this page Linux one and we have to read about Linux one system. Then we have to follow these instructions to request our own virtual system. So right click open link in new tab. So this is the page virtual server deployment guide. Step one in a browser go to Linux one community cloud website. Here is the page. Here we have to click on try virtual machines on Linux one. This is the link click on it. Give your email address. Then give password. Then give your name. Then give your country. Mine is India. Description of the project. Here we have to give participating in the IBM Z Explorer program. There is no event code, so no need to put anything. So leave it empty and click on request your trial. Thank you. Your registration is under review. It will take up to one business day to process and you will receive email with the logon credential once your request is approved. So let us check our email. This is the email I received. Hello Abhishek. Welcome to IBM Linux One Community Cloud. Please click on the link below to activate your virtual server entitlement. Link is valid for 48 hours. So this is the link. Just click on it. Activating. Awesome. Your account and entitlement have been activated successfully. Now you can sign in. Let's click on sign in. Give your user ID, which is the email. Then give the password Then click on sign in. I am now logged in to the website. So we have completed step one, get your virtual machine. Step two is also done. Let's go to step three. There are number of Linux distributions, including SUSC and Red Hat Linux. For these challenges, we will use RHEL, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Here on the website, go to virtual servers. Then you have to click on the username on the right side. Click on it. Click on manage SSH key pairs. Then on the next page, click on create. Then give the name of the key. Let's give C explore key. Create a new key pair. And you can see a key is there and it is also downloaded to my computer. Then go to the home page again. Here click on virtual servers in virtual servers. There is a link manage instances. Click on it. Then click on create. Select a type. Type should be general purpose VM. Enter instance detail. Give anything like IBM Z Explore. The image should be Red Hat. Select RHEL 8.4. In the PDF also in step 3 it is telling us we should select RHEL. Then select flavor. There is only one flavor. This is the key. We just created this key. Then click on create. That is it. Your server is now spawning. It is now starting up. The server is now showing as active. So you can now log in to the server. Note down the IP address of your server. So right click and copy. You can see view details from here. So it has been running since last one minute. It is active since one minute now. Let's go back to our PDF. In step four, it is asking us to log into the system. So let's go to VS code, open a terminal. Let's go to the downloads folder. Let's give here CD downloads. And you can see here is the zexplorekey.pem. Then you can SSH into the server using this command sshi, then the key, then username, and then the IP address. Let's give here SSH hyphen i, then give the key name zexplorekey.pem. Give the key name zexplorekey.pem. Then give the username and IP address of the server. This is the username Linux1. Linux1. 
at the rate this is the IP address copy this and then paste it here press the enter key are you sure you want to continue give yes that's it I am now logged into the IBM Linux 1 server you can see Linux 1 at IBM Z Explorer. Welcome to IBM Linux on Community Cloud. Let's go to step 5. In step 5, it is just asking us to look around. We can run commands like cd, make directory, touch, cd, etc. So let's give a ls. And we can do cd as well. If we want, we can run the command called touch. And give here my file. Give ls again and you will see my file is there. Then you can remove it by rm. My file give ls again and you will see the file is gone let's clear the screen in step 6 it is asking us to put your root down you have to go to the top level directory known as the root directory go there by giving cd hyphen let's give ls now and you will see these are the files and folders in my root directory to know full details give ls and then hyphen l so these are the full details of the files and folders. Here is the description of each of these folders. You can read it. Then go to step 7. In step 7 it is asking us to run ls of root. So let's give here ls hyphen root. And you will see permission denied. Permission was denied because we do not have much authority. Because we are logged in as Linux one. So to elevate the authority you have to use sudo which is switch user and do let's give here sudo ls and then hyphen root and you can see ls was successful it is showing the contents of the root folder anaconda ks.cefg so if i give sudo then it will elevate my authority this is what step 8 is saying in step 9 we have to type the command sudo yum install nano sudo yum install nano so we'll press the enter key is this ok give yes it is complete nano is now installed we can also other commands like yum search nano let's give here yum search nano so here is the output of this command we can also run yum search text yum search text and here are all the packages which contains txt in them yum stands for yellow dog updater modified let's go to step 10 it is asking us to edit a file so we have to change directory to home linux1 so let's give here change directory give here home linux1 let's give ls and there is nothing inside this directory let's clear the screen let's here give nano my file nano my file and you can see the file is now open we can add some text to it so let's add i am doing the ibm z explore linux one challenge give control o to save the file so give here control o and press enter and you can see here wrote one line means one line is now successfully saved to exit give control x give here control x and you can see the editor is now closed and you can see the editor is now closed let's go to step 11 in step 11 it is telling us that we can see a file that is under construction we can do this by giving the command tail so let's give here tail and then give f and then where log and then messages it is saying permission denied so let's add sudo before it so let's give here sudo and you can see this is the content of the file in step 12 it is telling the same thing that you got a permission denied message so fix it by giving sudo to cancel just give control c so here let's give control c and you can see the command is cancelled that's it there is no validation in linux one so we can just go to website and click on complete 
so let's go to the website go down and click on challenge complete you just done five points you have successfully completed the advanced linux one challenge awesome you have completed this challenge if you like my videos then you can support me by buying my mainframe course after buying this course you will get 19 hours of mainframe training this course will teach you COBOL, JCL, VSAM, TSO, ISPF, Unix System Services, and CICS. You can watch the free preview before buying my course. Make sure you buy the course using the referral link in the description.